Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is Eros and we're currently playing the Queen Bee Challenge and we have a brand new queen for our tribe, Queen Tiki, who has just became queen and she carries the very rare F immunity so I'm very excited to see if we can get some babies born with more of the F immunities and other immunities as well. If you don't know what the Queen Bee Challenge is, it is you could only have one queen um, for your tribe at a time and the queen is the only one that is allowed to have the babies. She's allowed to take out any mates, um, males as she wants, but she is the only one that can have babies. Though we have discussed that maybe uh, it might be pretty fun to have some forbidden love and maybe have some of our creatures fall in love and have some babies um, off somewhere in the distance. We'll have to see. Um, maybe we can do like a vote or something. Um, a lot of you guys suggested that maybe we have a voting system for the new queens as well. So I think that might be pretty, pretty fun to do. Um, let's see. I kind of want to breed uh, Queen Tiki with Ralphie because he does carry the A immunity. Um, which will allow us to have a child that is not going to be born sick, although he is pretty sickly at the moment. So hopefully uh, this won't hurt our chances. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and bring Queen Tiki over to Ralphie. And Ralphie can go ahead and breed with her. And he's going to pass away in the next turn, which is going to be really sad. And let's see, is Silver Mist is also a sickly creature too. I don't really want our queen around the sickly creatures too much. Let's go ahead and move a silver mist. Let's see over here, maybe towards this berry bush right there. And then Ralphie, um, he's gonna pass away. Why don't you go ahead and move this way and start to uncover the area over here. And then Queen Tiki, she doesn't have any more moves available. And then Pop, why don't you go ahead and collect some of these berries and collect some of these little grasses around here. And then little umbrella, oh my goodness, umbrella, you're so silly. I love it, little umbrella, oh my gosh. I love him, I love him, he's just so cute. Uh, and then we do have, let's see, everybody else over here is doing pretty okay. Let's do a really quick check to see if we can find anything with our hearing and our smelling. And it looks like there's a bunch of moles, of course. Um, but no new creatures that I can see or carnivores with this. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring in. It looks like we do have some rain. Oh, poor Ralphie has passed away. But fortunately, he will be able to um, have have a child with Queen Tiki. Um, so that's going to be pretty fun. I think we might just have her pop right here and have her first little baby right in this area. Uh, and then Silver Mist can go ahead and collect some of these berries and move her over here. And then Umbrella, let's go ahead and have, and have you start moving towards this way. And pop, you can go ahead and collect the berries that are right here. There we go, and cover up or uncover that area. And then Naella, we can go ahead and move you here and you can go ahead and collect the berries. We do have a lot of food, which is really, really nice. So I'm pretty happy about that, that we're able to have lots and lots of food. And then Mousy over here. Ooh, I wonder if Mousy should fall in love with someone. Maybe we will do like a voting system um, for the next queen. And for if we should have any forbidden loves, um, you guys will have to let me know. Ooh, I'm so excited to involve you guys in this challenge. And you guys can help me make these very important decisions for our tribe. But Queen Tiki is going to have her very first baby. And I think we are on V names. Because I am naming the little creatures um, in alphabetical order, kind of. Um, so the last baby we had was born with a U. So Curious T-U-V, so next baby born is going to have a V name. So let's go ahead and see who we have. We have, ooh, a little baby girl born. Um, she does have the um, G and A immunity, so she was able to um, have the A immunity from her father, and she is a healthy baby. She has normal fertility. Um, she has medium tail, normal eyesight. She has normal hind legs. She has runner legs, big body, short snout, and medium ears. So let's go ahead and name her, I think Venus uh, would be a good name for her. It's a little Venus right there. And then who should we have Queen Tiki have a baby with next? Maybe with Pop. I don't think there is a best scenario. Oh, it looks like um, Queen Tiki and Pop will actually um, have a chance to not make any sickly creatures. So 
pop, why don't you pop over here and uh, come introduce yourself to Queen Tiki. <laughs> and you guys can have some healthy babies. Nice. Oh, I love it when we have healthy babies. <laughs> it makes me so sad when I know like, oh, there, there might be a chance that we have some unhealthy babies. Oh, it's so sad. Uh, but let's go ahead and collect these berries. Um, Silver Mist is getting a little bit older. Um, she only has a couple more days left to live. Um, Umbrella, why don't we start moving you over here? Why don't you go over here? And you can see if you can get this mole in the next turn. And then Mousy is over here. Why don't you go ahead and collect some of the grasses? And Quick, you can go ahead and come over here. Collect some of the berries um, and the different nuts over in this area. And Ella, uh, why don't you go ahead and see if you can get this mole. This mole's bothering me. There we go, we got a mole. And there's a bunny over there now. We're gonna have to see if we can get that bunny in the next turn. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the next child is going to be. Hopefully we get a good baby. And we have doo -doo -doo -doo, a little boy. Ooh, look at you. A little panda baby we have. All right, so he has F and A immunity. He has normal fertility. He has the double panda pattern. He has medium tail, tail normal eyesight. He has normal hind legs, runner's leg, and nimble fingers. He also has medium body poisonous fangs, and medium ears. So he's going to have a W name. Let's go ahead and name him, let's see, should we name him Wind? Maybe we'll name him Wind. There we go, we have a little Wind right here. And then we can go ahead and have Venus pop out of the nest right over here. And we can move Queen Tiki over this way and breed once again with Pop. And Pop can go ahead and collect these berries. And you can go ahead and collect some berries over here. Queen Tiki. Oh my goodness. We're going to have healthy babies this generation. Oh, this is going to be nice. Going to have lots of cute little healthy babies. And let's see. Why don't we move you over here? And then Silver Mist. Uh, you will be passing away in this turn. Oh my goodness. Silver Mist. Poor Silver Mist. <gasps> Makes me so sad. And then Umbrella. You can go ahead and collect the berries too. And then Mousy, you can go ahead and collect those berries. And quick, you can go ahead and get these moles, which is nice. And then why don't we have Mousy come over here too and go ahead and get that mole as well. Nice. We have over 300 food. That is amazing. And let's see, I think we're just going to leave Pop here for right now. Uh, I think that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. Oh, we have another set of twins. We did it. Set of twin little girls. Oh my goodness. They look different. They are so cute. Oh, I love the addition of twins in this game. That is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they are so cute. I love it. All right. So now we are on X and Y names. Oh my goodness. They are so precious. So we have G and B immunity. And then we also have F and B immunity. So they do have different immunities, which is very, very nice. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and name our babies now. So we're going to go ahead and name this one um, with an X name, which is really hard. So we're going to name her Xena. Um, hopefully that is the correct way to pronounce it. And then this one, we are going to go ahead and name. Yippee! <laughs> I thought that would be really cute to name her um, little Yippee right here. So Xena, um, let's see. She has normal eyes. She has normal hind legs. She has runner's leg, medium body, short snout, and medium ears. And it looks like little Yippee over here. Um, has nimble fingers, runner's leg, medium body, poisonous fangs, and medium ears as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at our mutations menu too to see if we want to change anything up. And let's see, stinky tail might be kind of fun. Why don't we work on making some, let's see, should we make some warriors maybe? Uh, let's, let's take a look and see what type of um, jeans she has. She has nimble fingers. It is really nice too increase like our nimble fingers and to have like really high collectors so maybe we will focus on that a little bit more um having more babies born with nimble fingers would be really really nice and then medium tail is nice as well maybe we'll switch that out with something else uh let's see do 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 do, do, do. um velvet paw is pretty nice uh we can do horns maybe poisonous fangs maybe the warning dots uh that may be pretty nice to do a um, McCree's camouflage in the jungle. Ooh, 
jungle babies. Let's see, if we do go to a different island, it looks like there is a flowery island over here and a hard island over this way. So it doesn't look like we do have any jungles available. Uh, oh, actually, yep, yeah, I think over here is the jungle. So if we did want to go to the jungle, uh, it might be pretty nice to have some babies born with the um, warning dots, I believe. Hmm, so decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens if we have some babies born with warning dots. And oh, I love it. I love twins. I love having twins. It's so much fun to do. Uh, let's go ahead and move a little wind out of the nest right over here. And then why don't we move Queen Tiki over here and have another baby with her current mate pop. Uh, collect some berries. Let's go ahead and have Venus go ahead and collect some berries too now that she's old enough. And it looks like we have a new man. <gasps> a new man has come into our life. He is K-immunity. <gasps> I've never seen K-immunity in my life. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, um, we definitely want him to join our tribe. Oh my goodness. Um, K and B immunity. Um, he would be a really good mate with, um, Queen Tiki as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and offer him five food to go ahead and join our tribe. And little Nero here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, he does have poor eyesight, unfortunately. Um, he does have double claw though, which is pretty nice. Big body. Big nose for smelling and medium ears. So if we are going to start breeding with Nero, it might be really good to go ahead and put normal eyes right here uh, to make sure that we increase our chances of getting babies born with normal eyesight. And why don't we go ahead, since we do uh, want to work on getting some more creatures born with nimble fingers, uh, put that right over there too. Oh my goodness. Look at this man. We got ourselves a man over here. <laughs> He's a pretty cool man, if I do see so myself. Now let's go ahead and move him here so we can go ahead and collect this mole. And I'm really excited to see what type of babies he is going to bring to the tribe. Let's go ahead and move Pop over here. Uh, there we go. And then how is everything going over here? Uh, looks like Mousy can go ahead and collect the food that is over in this area. And why don't we go ahead and have Quick um, come over here and collect the berries that are on this tree. And then um, little Naella, she can go ahead and collect the berries. And we can go ahead and have Umbrella. Oh, Umbrella is now old enough. He is now an adult. He can go ahead and collect those berries as well. And let's see, A and B. What are, would he be a good mix? Uh, no. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? He would be a good mix. So he could be a good potential mate for um, Queen Tiki as well. Uh, just because he does carry some really good genes for her, I think, right? G and F immunity and B, A and B. So yeah, so maybe um, <laughs> we can have, but he does have the same immunities as Pop over here. So let's see, but he does carry, let's see, double tail, nimble fingers. Um, yeah, Pop does have the swimming tail that we don't necessarily want. So maybe we can start switching between breeding with little Nero over here and maybe breeding with Umbrella because he does carry the um, some better genes than Pop does. Alright, awesome. We have some men in our life who are pretty good breeding um, partners. So that's pretty exciting. So Queen Tiki is going to bring about a bunch of healthy creatures to her tribe. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. And she, oh my goodness, a beautiful little baby girl born once again um oh my goodness so she has g and b immunity she has double panda pattern she has the swimming tail normal eyes normal height um normal hind legs she has double runner legs medium body short snout and medium ears she is born um and she is going to be her baby that has the z name because she's the 26 child born within the tribe so we're gonna go ahead and name her Zelda because I love Zelda I love a little Zelda princess Zelda Ooh, maybe Ooh, maybe maybe she will be the next princess of the tribe the next queen uh, we'll have to see how it goes and let's go ahead and have Venus collect these berries as well and then pop why don't you go ahead and move over um, this way and start collecting the berries right here. And then Nero, uh, let's go ahead and have Queen Tiki um, come over here. And she can go ahead 
and breed with Nero. And uh, let's see, needs 10 nesting material. Oh no. Uh, she can go ahead and pop in this nest though, so that's not too bad. Um, she, she can go ahead and move there and go ahead and get some nesting material. The wind can go ahead and collect these berries, and he can also take away this nest too, just to get some more nesting material. And let's see, it looks like Nero is not good at collecting nuts. Ooh, he can, he could uh, talk to, talk to Pop, be like, get away from my queen, she's mine now. <laughs> uh, and then Umbrella, he can start making his way over here too. Let's go ahead and move him here, and move him closer to the queen. And then uh, Ella, she can go ahead and collect the berries that are over this way. There we go. Lots and lots of berries, lots and lots of food. Uh, let's go ahead and move it towards this berry bush too. And then Mousy, you can go ahead and collect these um, over here. Why don't you go... Oh, the mole. Holy moly. One day, one day we will get that mole. That mole shall be ours. Uh, let's go ahead and get the nuts. And... Oh, hello! Another man. Another man has been born. G and... Our let's see, G and D immunity. Oh, and who's another f female? Oh my goodness. There is like a council uh, meeting going on here of rogue like creatures just hanging out. Oh my goodness. What the heck? What is going on over here? Some kind of like party. Um, what? <laughs> what? Maybe they know Nero. Perhaps. Do they know Nero? Somehow? Maybe. What is going on over here? Um,. Let's see, so G and D immunity, so it might be nice to invite this male um, to join our tribe too because he does have the D immunity, and it looks like this little girl has the H immunity, so maybe she would be nice to um, be one of our creatures with some forbidden love, maybe. I don't know. Like, what is going on here, though? That's so weird. That is so weird. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be, and we have a little boy born who has normal eyesight. Um, he does have F and B immunity. He has runner legs and claws. He has big body, big nose, and medium ears. Let's go ahead and name him. Um, we are starting back over with A. Um, so we can go ahead and name him, um, let's see, Al. Al? Um, let's go ahead and name him Ad. Let's go ahead and name him Ad. We're going to name him Ad <laughs> right there. And then Xena, she can go ahead and come over here and start collecting some berries. Gonna have so much food for our tribe. Oh, I wanted that I wanted that male to join our tribe. Oh no. Uh, let's go ahead and move you over here. And let's go ahead and see if we can have Wind kind of chase after that rogue. Um, and see if he potentially would want to join our tribe. Um, yippee, you can go ahead. Oh, yeah, he's coming back. He's coming back. Uh, we can go ahead and pop, um, introduce himself and go ahead and give him five food to join our tribe. And let's see, Van Keer. Um, so we can go ahead and have Van Keer maybe breed with the queen uh, next to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, but I think we're going to have the queen breed again with Nero. So let's go ahead and move Queen Tiki over here and breed once again. And go ahead and she can. See, wait, did they breed? Oh no, they're not mating. Mating failed. Oh no. Um, let's try to mate again. Did, did it work? We made a baby finally. Oh my gosh, it took us a couple tries. Nero, what's going on with you, buddy? Are you not able to have babies anymore? Oh my goodness. Um, let's go ahead and move Vanky over here. I can go ahead and collect the um some of the grasses around here, and uh maybe make some babies with the queen in the next turn. Let's go ahead and move this mole over here. Uh, or move this creature over here by our mole. Oh, the mo holy moly. And then umbrella. You can go ahead and come over here. Start getting some grasses. Making this area a little bit nicer for this queen. Look at all these males that Queen Tiki has as her mate. Oh no, there's a carnivore over here by Mousy. Uh, let's go ahead and see. She's not the best at fighting. Uh, she's going to pass away in the next turn though. Um, and then quick. He's not the best at fighting either. Uh, let's go ahead and hit him. Let's go ahead and try again. And then let's go ahead and have Naella try to help take on this creature as well. And it looks like some creatures are probably going to take some damage in the next turn. And Mousy is going to pass away in the next turn as well. Oh my goodness, it's so sad. 
Um, but let's go ahead and see who is going to take damage from the carnivore. Oh my goodness. Oh, so sad. Uh, let's go ahead and have Naella. Let's see. Can we... Let's see. Does he need his wounds licked? Does he have any? I don't think so. He doesn't need his wounds licked. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and have him try to take on this carnivore once again with Naella. But they're not doing a very good job at it because they're not very strong creatures. So that is probably definitely something that we have to keep in mind and try to make some stronger creatures in the future. Uh, but we do have another baby born. Um, and we're gonna, let's see. Oh, she does have the K immunity, which is nice. Um, so G and K immunity. She has a medium tail, normal eyesight. She does carry the short-sighted eye, unfortunately. She has normal hind legs, nimble fingers, claw, medium body, big nose, and medium ears. Uh, let's go ahead and move the queen. Let's see. Ooh, look at you. Look at Venus. Oh, she grew up to be a, such a beautiful little creature. Uh, we are going to have the queen breed, I think. Should we try to breed with you? He does have... He has so many, like, bad traits, though. So, oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll go for it. Um, let's go ahead and have her breed. Um, she was able to get pregnant this time, which is nice. Let's go ahead and move Ad out of here. And let's see, can we have you fix the nest? And then we can have Queen Tiki come pop in this nest. And have Xena um, get these berries. And then Zelda can come over here. And then Wind. Uh, why don't you go ahead and unlock that area over this way? And then Pop, you can go ahead and collect these berries. Uh, since you no longer need Pop to really mate with the Queen anymore, he can go off on like a little exploration duty. Um, there is that one rogue female over there too and then let's go ahead and collect the berries that are over here and then umbrella umbrella ella uh why don't we have you come over here and start collecting up some of the different grasses and then van cure uh why don't we move you down here collect some of these berries and collect some of the grasses over in this area and then nero why don't we have you collect these grasses get some more nesting material and oh my goodness oh my goodness quick is gonna pass away in the next turn i think oh it's so sad it is just so sad um but this little baby born we are gonna go ahead and and name her little bambi oh my goodness bambi you're so cute i love little bambi um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the queen bee challenge we have a lot of potential uh princesses um for our next queen so if you guys have a favorite queen um or a potential queen please let me know down in the comments because we might be picking a queen in the next episode uh but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye